Welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Who's a hydrophobic pony? You're a hydrophobic <laughs> pony. Who is? You is Applejack. Oh, hydrophobic. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue, does it? No. Yeah. Really. I'm just trying to remember. Hy- hydrophobic? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, it's better than pyrophobe. No, pyrophobia is much more worse. Well, I mean, everyone's a little bit pyrophobic. It's how you stay away from fire. No, true, true, true. I mean, um, uh, is there is there a scientific term for earth? For, for being afraid of dirt? Yeah, I guess. Gaia? Gaia? Gaia-phobic? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, look at us all being fancy-like. <laughs> We're scientists. Yeah. Also joining us is Terra. Well, for me, I have a lot of phobias. You see, since I'm part grass and ground type, I have fear of fire. So, yeah, there's that pyrophobia. Uh, what do you call fear of ice? Um, what is uh, ice? Chillophobia? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just spitballing here. Uh, I, I mean, there's also phantasma, phantas, uh, phantom. F- um, how do you say that word? Uh, tongue twister. Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. No, phasmophobia. Oh, phasmophobia. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it, if you look at the word, it looks like phantasmagoria. <laughs> no, nobody. No. Mm, I haven't seen phantasmagoria. Sorry. Oh, that was the game. Me neither. Uh, I haven't played it. <laughs> Okay, anywho, let's get, let's get back on track. In today's episode review, we are going to review uh, the Friendship is Magic comic issue number 85. In this issue, Applejack teach Abel Bloom the meaning of courage by telling her the story of how she conquered her fear of the water when she was little. So, yeah. Uh, this is one of those Applejack episodes where to make the story work, we need to make her worse. Not really. So, Silver, what do you think? Well, right off the bat, this was I had some tough competition as we already had Granny Smith being afraid of the water. Wait, was she? Yes, yes. in Leap of Faith. She was afraid of going in the water and uh, refused to swim. Until Flim and Flem gave her this tonic that theoretically fixed her problems, but not really placebo. But with uh, in in that scenario, Granny was afraid of the water because she was old. Actually, no, she was afraid of the water because of an experience as in her youth. Oh, really? No. Oh, wow, I forgot about the episode. So we're retreading o- older ground here. Hmm. And Granny's off to this off to the side, like, "Hey, get your own phobia, you youngin." This is mine. <laughs> but, uh, okay, never mind. I'm going to hold my tongue for a bit. Uh, anything else? Just that it's an interesting piece with a new, rather terrifying looking creature. Which is, uh, you know, I'm going to hold my tongue for that one too. <laughs> yep, we got to we gotta be patient. Tease the people along a little. Yep. Yeah. Just a little. Yeah, true, true. So anyway, uh, Tara, what about you? Oh, also, sorry, got to dock you. well as for me i really like the comic it has a very good lesson although like silver said we did go through this before with granny smith so a little late to the punch there but i guess this one is a bit more i wouldn't say more of a good lesson like the one with granny smith was a good lesson as well but i think this one leans more towards the um, family although i know at the um the, the front cover of it, I did kind of got curious what I was going through because on the cover, I thought this was going to be like um, a jealousy type story because you see Big Mac swimming and swimming with another pony and you see Applejack looking over. So I'm like, is this going to be a jealousy thing where Applejack is jealous that Big Mac's spending time with someone else that isn't... Uh, I, uh, I just had a brain fart. I don't Family remember who Big Mac is getting married to. Um, Sugar Bell? Yeah. Yes, Sugar Bell. Now you see Big Mac's hanging out with another pony that isn't Sugar Bell. What? <laughs> oh no! Well, the, the horror! Ah! But no, but no. So anyway, um, as for me, um, this comic was pretty interesting. Uh, I kind of uh, sorry. Um, I I like the art. the The art is pretty interesting. The story itself, well, 
it's an interesting story, uh, but I'm not sure. Like, I didn't really connect with it. So it was an okay lesson. It was interesting for me. And when you guys mentioned that, hey, this is similar to what we had before. I had to scratch my head for a bit and remember. And the worst part is the episode you guys are talking about is a key episode. And I mean in both sense where it is a important part of the show where Applejack gets a key. And also it's one of the episodes where Applejack gets a key. Yeah. This is quite literally a key episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and when, when, you know, in all honesty, I, I didn't really see the similarity because, uh, with Granny Smith and her lesson, it's not to believe everything that you hear and stuff or be, be mindful of what you believe. And this one is, there's, Courage in fear. So there's there's two totally different lessons here that we are getting. So yeah. Um interesting, but like I mentioned before, uh two same story but two different lessons, which is really interesting. So anyway, if you guys at home have not read this comic yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back, welcome back. So let's start off the comic with well. Our heroes, Apple Jack and Apple Bloom. Uh, Apple Bloom told AJ that, yo, I, I saw this big, big creature, uh, flyers, and it's been messing up the farm. Like, it's scary, yo. Uh, not really scary, but it's freaky, yo. And, I, and AJ here says, come on, Apple Bloom. Flyers don't grow that huge. And, Okay, I'll follow you to the orchard to check it out, but it's nothing of the sorts. And when Apple Bloom points out the huge net that is above the, what you call these trees, uh, she asks Applejack to explain that. And Applejack says, you know what? I, I, I never seen anything like it before. You know, I, I, we better ask Twilight because I think She's well. She might know what's going on here. Maybe it came from Tartarus or whatnot. So let's head. Let's head back to the farmhouse where it's safe. But before they could reach, or before they could go anywhere, um, Apple Bloom got stuck in one of the webs and is now stuck in the bigger web. Oh no! And that's what happens when you go on the internet. Oh no! <laughs> that there's a whole other web of. Stuff that we don't want to get into. But unfortunately for Applejack, she got into it. Ha ha! She's stuck in the dark web. Oh god, no. No, Silver, no. No. That, we, we do not go there, Silver. It's scary. Even with a light on. Wow, I think I found Norman's home phobia. Dark web of phobia. <laughs> yep. Uh, no, man, no. But anywho, um, Applejack tells Apple Bloom to Calm down, and don't be afraid. Like, uh, your your part of the net is not that sturdy, and I I think if you uh relax a bit, you can snap the web. And Apple Bloom, trying all her might, couldn't do it. Applejack tells Apple Bloom, "Yo, yo, Apple Bloom, calm down, calm down. You you don't need to be scared. Uh, it's it's natural to be afraid. Like." As for now, j- just try and relax. Just try and relax and try to snap the web. And Apple Bloom says, Nah, nah, I- I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Like, phew, uh, phew, me scared? Nah, man. Applejack tells her that I-, I-, I can clearly see that you're scared. Let me let me tell you a story about what happened when I was a little filly. So she goes to a, what you call this flashback and tells her the time when she was curious about a well and fall into it. It she was stuck in there for hours and when Big Mac found her, that's where she starts a fear of being afraid of the water. And what a time what a sucky time to be afraid because it was in the middle of the 
well, hottest heat wave ever. Oh no. And I'm going to pause here. So, Silver, what do you think? What's that, Winona? <laughs> Applejack fell down the well? <laughs> that a Lassie reference? It is a Lassie reference. Good, you're learning. I'm, I'm, glad. I'm so proud. Yeah. We'll get you up to speed, Tartara. But yes, I mean, falling down the well. Um, actually, now I need to look up Leap of Faith. Just remember, what did uh, what did Granny Smith uh, do to make her afraid of the water? Leap of Faith. But basically, this is all a good setup. The giant fly deer, uh, fly dar, uh, web. The ponies are caught. And now it's time for just a little bit of exposition before they deal with the modern problem. So it's a good setup. Uh, it's a good dynamic. It's just that falling down a well and being trapped in there. Well, Applejack fell down a lot of holes when she was a kid. Giggity. I mean, uh, she fell down an, uh, another pit during the harvest season. That's why she was so uh, hardcore about being effective during harvest time. Oh, yeah. Trying to make up for that one day. I remember that one where Apple Bloom wanted to see if they can catch the elusive... What now? I forgot. Bigfoot, probably. Oh, where they were trying to get the spirit of the harvest? Yeah, yeah. I think Applejack fell into her own trap there. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, before that, too. Uh, also, there's the one where, in episode one, where she kind of got pulled into a hole. Well. Wow. Oh, dear. You're right. Applejack does go into a lot of holes. Giggity. Oh, there we go. See, that, that one. <laughs> that one deserves it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Also, Granny Smith, she fell six stories into a deep dish pie pan. Wait, what? Uh, as part of her high diving career. Oh. Trying to break the equestrian record. So basically, she wasn't really afraid. Oh no, she was very afraid no, of the was. water after that. She was very afraid. It's just why she's not afraid of deep dish pie pans is my question. <laughs> and there's a question I never thought I'd ask in this show. Well, <laughs> learn something new today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, looking at this lake, pond, whatever, uh, is it the same one that the girls hang out in? And the kids play? You know, the students I believe so. Oh, wow. Okay. I like the callback. Awesomeness. Continuity. Yay. By the way, new pins available. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. But anyway, is that also? Uh, for now. All right, then. What about you, Tara? Well, first off, I really like how the art works. I know I mentioned last time I... Like the um the other war artwork, I believe it was from Tony, or I, I, you he, uh, you named him Pencil or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like his artwork, and I know that I said that I don't I don't really like the um, the types where they look jello. They they don't look uh, not too real, but it just looks like they're made of plastic. And then others where it's like you know it looks like they've just been taken from the show. At least here it. I love. I don't know. Just I don't know how to explain it, but I just like how it looks. It doesn't look too plastic, too jelloy, and I don't know. I just I just like it. <laughs> All right, understandable. I mean, you haven't seen any prices work yet. I think. I don't think I have. Hmm. Okay. Well, when you come across it, you're gonna appreciate really, really hard. Yes. Hmm. Is it Altera? Mm, yeah, I can't really say anything else. Although it would be nice to have a pool of your own in your orchard, orchard. But I mean, at this moment with the winter season, you can't really have a pool unless you have a hot tub. Then that would be an understandable, the uh, understandable reason. I mean, if you got a lake and you, uh, and if the lake froze over, you can have an ice rink. You can go skating on it. Mm, that's true. And then if you uh, crack it open, you can go ice fishing. Well, that's if you have fish in your pond or lake. <laughs> true, true. But anywho, I'm going to carry on. So, Applejack tells the story about how after the incident, she was afraid to go into deep waters where if the water goes above her head 
or if it's dark, like she she's afraid to go into those areas. And I mentioned before, it was the heat wave, and it seems that the whole Apple family is there playing in the lake. Uh, and that's something cool that you don't see much in the show proper. Like, we only get to see the Apple family interact in this series about, what, two or three times in total? Am I right? Yep, they're not around very often. For a family that sticks close together, they actually took a little while. <laughs> yep, true. But anywho, um, the girls invite Applejack to come and swim, but uh, she doesn't really want to. She's excited, but she doesn't really want to because of her fear of getting into the water. Big Mac goes ashore to comfort her and tries to ask her to play along in the water. And, well, Big Mac lets her think about it. And when Applejack's mustered the courage to go into the water, she tries to, but almost slips and it's her phobia and she kind of is afraid to go or plunge her head deep into the water. Big Mac helps her out and with that, Applejack uh, just screams, i never going into the water again. Oh, me a smelly pony. And we go to the present. Wow. We are covering a lot of shows that do this kind of ping pong. So anywho, we meet with the fly deer. Except it's not really a fly deer, but it's a wolf fly deer. They're huge, big, and nasty. Ugh, and they come from Tartarus. Most beans get sent to Tartarus. This one comes out of it. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. Like, Cerebus is not doing his job. Oh no. Applejack tells Applebloom to calm down, but I'm with Applebloom this one. You you see something freaky like that, you, you're gonna be freaking out. Like, how can I relax when this... Personally, I, I don't like that kind of writing. It it bothers me with reading it. Because it's all together? Uh, yeah. Shit. Don't, either, don't ever read a Transformers fanfic featuring Blur, then. Oh, God. Damn it. Uh, you get a headache. I'm trying to... So, like, there is a giant uh, cre- creature? Crit, crit. What does it say? You guys can read it. Uh, she says, there is a... Oh, wait. Yeah, there is a gigant... Oh, a giant critter behind me. That's what she says. Wow. Took you a while, too. Wow. Yeah, but I got it. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Better than me. Better than me. But still, uh, that that is that is a big negative for me. I, I don't like that. Not going to hurt the comic, though. But anywho, um, the wolf fly deer flies away. And Applejack just tells Apple Bloom, you, if you're afraid, don't worry. Yeah, uh, I'm here to help you do the aff- uh, affair. And... Apple Bloom just says she's not afraid and whatnot. And um, yeah, Apple Bloom is just lashing out and she says she's not. So let's go back to the past where Applejack is lashing out. And it kind of hurts Big Mac's feeling and Big Mac walks away. The rest of the girl uh, kind of wraps up, not really wraps up, but is kind of worried for Applejack. And they ask what's going on and whatnot. Are you okay? And Applejack just lashes out at them and tells everyone to leave her alone. Applejack walks to the farm and notice that, oh no, it's raining. The pond, oh no, that's not going to be great. So she says, for the first time ever, I was scared for some pony besides me. So with that, she rushes to the pond or lake, sorry, lake. Uh, the girls, or the family member, uh, stumble across her and they ask Applejack, where are you going? I thought you're going to go home. It's kind of not safe. A storm is coming. 
she asks where's Big Mac and they say that we thought he was with you. And yeah, Applejack realized that, okay, uh, he might be in the pond again and rushes through the pond trying to see if Big Mac is there. And he is. And, oh, well, he's almost drowning. And Applejack, fearful for her brother's life, uh, mustered the courage to go into the water and save his brother, uh, risking uh, overcoming her fear of the water. Mm -hmm. And Go into the water. Live there. Die there <laughs> oh man it, okay, it, then. is this metal <laughs> is this a uh, metal clip song yes it is oh <laughs> also is this the one where somebody did the batman parody no this has nothing to do with batman <laughs> why would you even say that <laughs> mm, yeah I, I, mm. why would you say that name <laughs> no my bad my bad sorry <laughs> but anywho uh let's see Applejack save Big Mac and pulls him to shore. I'm gonna pause here. <laughs> Tara, what do you think? I do like the design of the flyer, how it's a mixture of a fly, a spider, and surprisingly a wolf. Now that I wasn't expecting, but I don't understand how they got to just randomly fly away after Applejack shout at it. Like, did it decide, eh, I'm gonna take a break from these ponies. These ponies are bad flanks. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's there's nothing to indicate that um, they did anything to shoo away the wolf slider. Yeah. What I do like, though, I mean, it is it is a relatable thing here how you don't want to admit that you're scared of something, so you just basically tell everyone just to leave you alone. You know, uh, I'm not afraid, so just leave me alone. And then after, you know, later on when her brother's in trouble, that's when it's like, oh no, I, you know what? I'm going to have to suck it up, face my fears. It's either I, fa I be a wimp or my brother dies. And it's like, yeah, you might as well go save your brother. The one thing I'm going to get a little bit nitpicky here is like after she saves her brother, she yes, she is very happy to save the brother, and everyone's happy that Big Mac's still alive. And they're like, "Wow, Applejack, you're a hero! You're so brave!" But Applejack never apologized for the way she acted. True, but mm, oh, man, this is one of those scenarios where I understand what you mean, but also they could be like off-screen saying stuff, you know, probably. I don't know, that's just what I see because, you know, they don't, Applejack, like, she could have at least apologized to them after she saved her brother, like, after everyone saying, oh, you're here, Applejack, are you okay? Oh, thank goodness, you're safe. And then after she could turn to them and be like, I'm sorry, and then, you know, say your lessons, like, I'm sorry, I should have told you this and that, blah, 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 I hope you understand. And then they would end the flashback there and go to the, the flighter coming back trying to eat them. I see your point, I see your point. And Silver, what about you? Well, first off, we've got to fault the ponies for their uh, practicality. It's probably a lot easier to swim if you take, uh, you know, uh, bandanas and other articles of clothing off. Though the ultimate, what the hey, goes to Big Macintosh, who swims with his yoke on. Mm. I'm starting to think that when his dad put that yoke on him, it actually, uh, Big Mac's head grew several sizes that day and now it won't come off. I mean, and the only way he could get it free is when Sugar Bell busted it. No, I mean, when you really look at it, I mean, Big Mac does take it off a few times when he was cross-dressing. And yet then it always snaps back on. It's it's enchanted. It's cursed. <laughs> oh, no. But he's not taking it off while swimming. I have to really point out that that's a very hazardous thing to do. True, true. I mean... Uh, when whenever you go swimming, it's wise to take off uh, jewelry around your neck because you, you, uh, it might cause a choking hazard. Yes. I mean, there's a there's this orange pony with a green hair that has a has a reddish orange bandana around her neck. Now I understand what Tortera says about no round of apologies, but in some ways, sometimes you don't need an apology. You know, sometimes people just move on without it. 
And it's sort of the unspoken. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, too, who is it for anyway? Is it for Applejack or is it for the girls? And I feel like this is just mostly for Applejack because she conquered her fears of the water and now she can become a sea pony. Ooh, should we do? Back into the water. I miss this show. I know, right? This show's awesome. I'm talking about both Metalocalypse and My Little Pony. Now I am Batman. Uh. <laughs> oh, Martha, why did they say your name? Uh, I heard the Snyder's cut is going to be four hours long. <laughs> hey, that's four hours I won't have to waste, because I'm not going to see it. And also, it's going to be R-rated. Oh. <laughs> Deadpool did it first. <laughs> and look. Logan did even better. <laughs> ah, boys. Anyway, um, is that all, Silva? Well, just the old quote of uh, courage is not the absence of fear, but it's mastery. A while back, you told me about how uh, the Scarecrow wanted to prove a point that fear is something, something, something dark side, where he uh, guessed Batman to... To shut down his fear, and that basically he lost a good deal of morality while he was at it. <laughs> yep, that, that's an interesting show that or episode I want to watch. Hmm. But anywho, getting back to ponies, we see that yay, the flighter's back and is coming to AJ's side. Oh no! Uh, it seems that the flighter is very interested in well, um, getting intimate with Applejack, if you know what I mean. I don't think that's what it had in mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Norman, I'm I'm worried you've been spending too much time with me. <laughs> hey, I mean, you're a good influence, right? I mean, I'm sorry, what? You're a good influence. No. <laughs> that's what it no, I think a good influence. Yes, I... How dare. <laughs> I, I learned a lot of... I learned a lot from you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting back on track. So, yes, um, with this, Apple Bloom is very, very scared of the situation. And she tries to relax and sets herself free from the web. And Apple Bloom here kind of tells the flighter off and tells it to, uh, let's see, now listen here. Uh, we've had quite enough of your leaving webs all over our farm and scaring every pony. So how about you let my sister down, clean up your me- uh, sorry, web, and go someplace dark and creepy like straight back to Tartarus? The wolf flyer ponders and says, Yes, I shall do so, good madam. Sorry for bothering you and good day. What? Goodbye. It worked. Yeah, let's be fair. I mean, how many people have actually tried asking the horrible beast to just leave them alone? You have a point? Hmm? I think they did it one time with the giant tortoise that was eating at Sweet Apple Acres when they said, you know, eat lightly. But I guess his way of eating lightly was to eat all the trees. And almost eat spikes. (laughs) Yes. Uh, mm, True, true. Um, well, they they could have asked Godzilla to, you know, not destroy the city and go away. Hey, it worked with the Powerpuff Girls. Once. Mm, true, true. I'm trying to remember, is there any other scenario that that happened? Mm, not that I know of. Mm. Not coming off the top of my head. But anywho, um, the Flyder lets Applejack go and head back to Tartarus carrying his web and waving goodbye to the two ponies. What a polite fellow. I know. So, anywho, um, the girls just says, wow, uh, Apple Bloom just says, oh, did you see me? I, I, I tuck down the slider like I'm a boss. Like, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm brave. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, yeah. Like a boss. <laughs> yeah. And Apple Bloom admits that I was so scared, but I thought I just gotta face it like when you face the water and stuff. Woohoo. And with that, Episode ends. Yay. So anyway, uh, Silver, what do you think? Uh, and also final thoughts. 
Well, it's a simple and direct story, but it's also fun to see. I, the artwork is beautiful. It's nice to see the bond between Applejack and Big Macintosh. He catches her before she can fall uh, submerged in the water again, and he's probably the most understanding of her fear, mostly because he, was, he saw why it happened. And then she's willing to overcome it to save him. But what he's still doing in the water, I'll never know. So put simply, it's a wonderful family bond episode. Uh, at the same time, it does struggle with the fact we've, we've, we're treading familiar territory. As like I say, we saw Granny afraid of the water and leap of faith. So fun, brief, but doesn't stick in the memory quite as strong as others. Oh yeah, that, that that part I agree with, and also when you mentioned that yeah, the story has been told, yeah, I, I agree. But at the same time, too, the lesson is different. So I I find that very fascinating. Where you can have the almost almost the same story, but have two different lessons out of it. It's not a bad thing. True, <laughs> I just find it fascinating, and also. Was Granny really afraid? Because to me, I didn't saw that. That's why I didn't really remember. Yeah, she was afraid. Yeah, she she especially said she, it was years before she could even look at water again. All right. Oh man, like I mentioned before, like I f- totally forgot. But I, I guess the one one of the few factors because why I could, well, I possibly forgot about it was because it was. An episode where the Flim Flam were there. And when the Flim Flam are involved, somebody is getting conned. Anyway, uh, anything to add, Silver? Nope. I think I've said my piece. Mm. Alrighty then. Uh, Taro, how about you? I, I really enjoyed this comic as well. Like, this is something I'd actually go back to. I recommend going back to because it, it does have a good lesson and it has a nice family bonding and. Like I just like it because it has nice art as well. It's pretty to look at. You can see what goes on in the background. You can see what goes on up close. You can see the flyer because I mean, come on, that would be very terrifying if we ever had a creature that was a mixture of a uh, wolf, fly, and spider. But as Silver mentioned, yes, it that is kind of repeating itself with uh, Granny Smith being afraid of the water. Although we didn't really get into full detail about how she was afraid of the water, we did have that flashback. And then the whole story was just focusing on Applejack telling the lie. And it's like, oh, yeah, Granny's finding the water now. Well, it, at least in here, we get to see why Applejack was officially afraid of the water. But now she's completely fine because she's faced her fears. Which is kind of a challenge to itself because you don't automatically get over it. Yeah, exactly. But, okay, is that all, Tara? Yep, that's all. All right. And as for me, this episode was really nice. It was a nice read. Uh, the lesson here is one of those lessons where if you face your fears, you you can relate and understand. For me, I don't remember if I faced my fears and got over it. Maybe, yes, no, I don't remember. But still, it's one of those stories where, yeah, um, you get over your fear because there's a bigger threat. There's a bigger threat than what you're afraid of. And in this scenario here, it's like Apple Jack's afraid for her brother's livelihood or life. So, let's see. Other than that, mm, yeah. Art art here is pretty awesome because uh, I'm not 100% sure if we've seen more works from... Who now here? Um... Casey, Casey. So, I I hope we get to see more of her in the future. Oh, fingers crossed. Offhand, I can't recall. Yeah, there's no highlights here. I mean, uh, let me try and see if I can find by doing a copy paste search. What what else did she do? I see a best gift ever here. Wow. Okay, I am not getting any here. That's odd. Very strange. But anyway, uh, yeah, episode end, I guess. <laughs> Unless you guys got anything more to add. Nope, nothing more. Nope. Alrighty then. So anyway, um, we're going to hold off saying what next week's thing is going to be because um, 
Well, we, we, if you know how we're operating, you can clearly tell that we're recording this before Christmas. So when this episode comes out, it's going to be a bit wibbly wobbly timey right me. So we're just going to, well, pause it here for a bit and maybe we'll take a break. Yeah, no? So yeah, um, we'll just take a break for the holidays. Sounds good. Let's wrap things up. <clears throat> If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theamusementgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? You can find me lots of places. You can find me on DeviantArt on Twitter under MLP Silver Quill. You can support my comics and videos on Patreon and Ko-fi. Just look for Silver Quill. And, uh... You can find me on YouTube, just do a search for Silver Quill, or after the fact, I tend to pop up rather quickly. And on Wednesdays when there's a new comic, you can find me putting up a review on EquestriaDaily.com. Ah, uh, awesome. Go check him out, guys. And also, Terra, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, even at Twitter, or YouTube under the name Torterra1324. Or they can just do a Google search, and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, go do so, guys. And yeah, um, KCW Caller? Yeah, I'm checking out his name on the Googles. And he's prominent in Transformers. Like, he draws a lot of awesome Transformer art. Oh, there we go. (laughs) But hopefully he'll... Is it he or she? He. He. Well, I hope he will make a return to My Little Pony sometime. Yeah, and uh, the wiki page is not really helping me here because... I don't see much of his thing, so yeah, that's that's a bit annoying, especially after the praise I give <laughs> the fandom working on what you call this um the wiki page for ponies. Yeah, but anyway, where was I again? Ah, yes, this. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight. Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Sir Vakuil. And I am the Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Go into the water. Well, oh, it doesn't really affect me that much, so okay. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad we had this talk. So, wait, if Totera goes into the water, does that mean he's going to get overwatered and probably die? No? Yes? No? Because, or you know, maybe, plants... maybe he'll grow. Really grow. Oh, that's going to be cool. Let like... it grow. Let it grow. <laughs> A boo. Boo. <laughs>